Hi there, in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the Baby Bjorn high chair. The reason why I've decided to do this review is because I've had a Baby Bjorn high chair and used it for seven years. I bought it brand new for my first child and I've used it for both my children and it has really lasted me the distance. So I thought it would be helpful for other parents if you're looking for a high chair for your child and you're considering the Baby Bjorn high chair, I thought I'd let you know what I think of it. If you're new to my channel, my name's Mel. I do a lot of decluttering and organizing on my channel. I do weekly video tips to help you simplify your home and simplify your life. So if that is what you're interested in, I'd love to have you click the red subscribe button below and join my YouTube channel. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I'm a minimalist and I basically try and have stuff in my home that I only need, love or use. And it is hard living with a non-minimalist husband and kids, but what's important to me is that, particularly when I'm looking for items for my kids, it's going to be something that's good quality or it's really going to be used. And it's going to be something that, you know, when you buy it, you really get the cost per use out of it. So it's a good investment. The first thing I like about this high chair is it's quite compact and I find it's really good for being able to slide the baby quite close to the table. Depending on the height of your table, you may not be able to get the tray actually under the tabletop. Mine slides like halfway under the tabletop. So the baby's still pretty close to the table, but it's not too far away that it's going to feel like they're not sitting with the rest of the family at the dining room table. One of the number one reasons I bought this high chair is because it is all plastic, so it is super easy to clean. Mine has no straps. I think possibly in the US there might be some versions on the market or might have been where there were straps because it was some sort of legal safety requirement. But really I found that you didn't need the straps because the way the high chair is designed, the tray comes up to lock your baby's torso into place. So they can't fall out of the chair and they can't stand up in the chair, which I really like. So um, if you've got a child who's a climber, this is a good one for making sure they don't climb out of the chair and then you don't have to worry about having straps that get tangled or having to clean straps. The white tray pops off and you can pop it in the dishwasher. I usually just wash it by hand but it does fit quite well in the dishwasher as well if your dishwasher isn't too full. I just find it's just so easy to clean. Just wiping it down with your favorite multi-purpose cleaner or I often just use a soapy water from the sink after I've washed the dishes. I just wipe it down every night after it's been used and it's fine. It's very sturdy. The way the legs are angled as well make sure that the chair does not tip over when the baby moves around in the chair, but they really can't move around that much. The other thing I like about the tray and the way it holds the baby in close to its tummy or chest is that there's less opportunities for them to drop food onto their lap. So there really isn't that big of a gap between the tray and the child. So food is more likely to be caught by their bib or caught on the actual tray of the high chair. So it's a lot less mess to clean up. I use the high chair for both of my kids until they were three. With my daughter, she can still fit in it and she's three now, but being the second child, of course, I think she wants to copy my son and sit in the big kid's chair. But with the baby born high chair, you can actually use it as kind of a junior chair as well. So you can still prop them up with the tray close to their chest. And my son sat it until he was three and was perfectly happy to sit with us up at the table like that. Now there are four years between my two children. So the great thing about this high chair is that I was able to fold it away for storage and put it in a cupboard or closet. It folds down really compact. For everyday use, I would just keep it folded out as normal. Once it's folded out, it's fairly compact anyway. The legs do stick out a little bit because they're all three like angled like a tripod rather than straight up and down like some of the high chairs. So just be aware, it takes a bit of getting used to when you're walking past the high chair or around it. You've just got to make sure not to trip over the legs that are sort of sticking out wider than the actual chair comes out itself. I would say this is more on the expensive side of high chairs, but I think it is well worth it. Again, I measure things in cost per use. So if it's something that costs a lot of money but it's really well made and it's something that I'm going to use a lot and in my case we used it nearly three times every day. Having had it for seven years it's really lasted the distance, well made and we use it a lot. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did please leave it a big thumbs up 
and of course if you're interested in seeing more from me click on my face below to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!